Thank you, Mark. Now to an update on a shooting we told you about earlier this week involving a Greenville, Tennessee pastor and his stepdaughter. Now the 16 year old teenager Tegan Welch, who was in critical condition following the shots fired, has died from her injuries. The shooting happened Monday in White Pine. Police responded to the shots fired in the parking lot of a pilot gas station where a man was pronounced dead at the scene and two people were injured. The injured Tegan and her stepfather, 58 year old Kenny Cook, the pastor of the Mossheim Church of God. They were taken to a hospital today. Steve Starnes, the director of the Greenville City School System, confirmed Tegan's passing to News Channel 11. That confirmation this morning. While little details are known at this time about what led to the shots being fired, the community in Greenville is mourning the loss of a young life. Kelly Grossfield spoke with staff at the high school about the legacy she leaves behind. I don't think they really expected so an outcome like this. Um, they, they, they were optimistic, they are prayerful, um, they came together and, and just wishing for her, her quick recovery. It's been a week full of prayers for young Tegan Welch, a junior at Greenville High School. A vigil on Wednesday night brought out over 100 people, but on Thursday evening, the news of her passing shook the school. Principal Martin McDonald says he knew her as a beam of light. She's odd, she's quirky, she is creative. Um, um, she is someone who stands out in a room. She was active on campus as the flute section leader in the band and a new member of the bowling team, a team she joined merely six months ago, but in that short time made a lasting impression. Along the way, when they needed uplifting, she was there with that bright and smiling face. Uh, to give them an encouraging word. Band director Brooke Williams told us Tegan was a crucial part of our band family. I've known her for five years and watched her grow up. She is a one of a kind, unique individual, and I love that about her. She loved to stand out and had such a beautiful confidence about her. She was infectious. This is a terrible loss. A tragic event that still sparked some hope. McDonald says Tegan was an organ donor, and even in her passing, she continues helping others. The doctors communicated to the mom that, that her ultimate sacrifice and gift would uh, bring life to up to eight people. And um, mom takes great solace in knowing that uh, even in the midst of this tragedy that a miracle still emerged. It's a great loss, one the student body is working to cope with. The band and bowling team are also hatching ideas on how to honor their sweet friend. With band and bowling both, uh, it, it's just an overall family. In Greenville, Kelly Grossfield, News Channel 11. While grief counselors will be on campus Monday, Principal McDonald says they're also asking students to wear blue and green when they return to campus January 10th in memory of Tegan.